Hello everyone. In this pro tip, I'd like to introduce you to a shell that has changed the way I think about command line interfaces. The shell I'm referring to is the Friendly Interactive Shell, or FISH for short. Let's take a look at how FISH might make our lives easier. Say I know there is a command on Unix systems that generates a GUID to standard out, and I think it begins with a U. In Bash, I type the letter U and press Tab, and a list of valid commands appears. I scan the list, and I find the one I want, UUID Gen. I type a couple more letters, press Tab again, and Bash auto-completes the command. In Fish, I type the letter U, and immediately notice that since I have used UUID Gen before, Fish suggests it straight away. Also, the letter U is red, because it does not yet match a known command. If I press right here, I can accept the suggestion, or if Fish did not guess the correct command, I can press Tab, just like I can in Bash. The list that appears is familiar, except that it has some extra color-coded information about each of the suggested commands. If Fish has room, it will even give plain English explanations. These auto-suggestions become even more impressive when using tools like NPM, Git, or several others for which Fish has contextual awareness built in. For example, in Bash, if we type git and press tab, Bash offers us a list of all the files in the current directory. That's always how Bash tries to autocomplete not the first word. However, I know of zero situations where a file name should immediately follow the git command. With Fish, pressing tab instead produces a list of all appropriate git commands, along with a concise explanation of their intended usages. For further demonstration, Autocompleting, after the word checkout, produces a list of available branches and files, each of which are welcome suggestions. As I mentioned, this shell has changed the way I think about what a great command line experience should be, and I've only just scratched the surface of what it can do. Share your favorite shell in the comments, or let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in future pro tips. Thanks for watching.